Hello and welcome. What I want like to do in this one is hopefully a brief one is do a data collector set. We talked about the performance monitor and we'll look at it a little bit little bit more and the reliability monitor uh, in the uh, lecture for the for the chapter for the monitoring chapter. A number of things that are available here but what a collector set allows you to do is collect data to the disk drive, save it in a file and go back for uh, future analysis. So what I would like to do here, and there's, there's two ways to do it. I'm going to right click uh, on this thing and say data collector set uh, as, as, we, as we go into here. We should be right user to find in the right place. We're going to do a new data collector set and then this one we'll call it performance. And we have a choice here to create from a template, create from a template, or to manually create. What I want to do, I think, is to do the create from a template. So when we go to next, we have a number of templates that are available. Can't resist the arrow keys. Active Directory Diagnostics is Domain Controller Basic. System Diagnostic and System Performance. System Performance is already picked here, so let's do a System Performance one. We also have a Browse capability here. We'll go to Next, and this tells us where it's going to save the information. Percent System Drive, Perf Logs, Admin Performance. So it's going to put it on the, on the C drive in this case, Perf Logs, Admin Performance. So that's going to be the location of the data files. So we should be able to finish this thing and then when we click into here we have some capabilities. We can start this thing, properties, let's look at the properties first. Generally it just tells us what it's going to do, the keywords in it, the directory where it's going to go, <coughs> the directory uh, name format. So the directory name is going to be year, month, month, day, day uh, so that we can find these things. Serial number one. Uh, the security, the authenticated users have read control. We have, let's look at the stop condition first. Overall duration, how long are we going to do this thing? We can do it in minutes, hours, days, or weeks. So we can start it on a daily basis, start it on a uh, weekly basis, whatever we would like to do. And then we have a duration here. So the overall duration, let's, let's go ahead and make this one five minutes so that any time that it starts is going to run for five minutes. The task, run the scheduled task, the data collector sets, the task arguments, a number of things that we can configure there. We can also go in here and add a schedule. We have an expiration date, a start date. Let's say that we wanted to run this thing and all, let's say we want to, at 10 o'clock every day, we want to find out and we don't need Saturday and Sunday because probably not going to be doing a whole lot on Saturday and Sunday. So we can OK here and OK here. And now we should be able to go in here and start our task. And with any luck, we get the little green, greater than our little green point to the right sign so that we can tell that the task is started. But it says that it didn't start because there were some dependencies issue. Let's try again. Yeah, maybe it's just going to be really angry with me. And now it's kind of acting like it's starting. We'll look and see if it is starting to run. Looks like it's running. We'll let it run for a couple minutes and I guess we could just go down here and do try to do a couple of things just to see if we can make it do anything. Uh, not a whole lot on this machine so it's not going to probably uh, do a whole lot to us for us. We'll just start a couple of couple of uh, programs here, a couple of Active Directory management tools uh, to see if it will actually do anything for us. Uh, I guess we could go back and stop this thing. We can now stop it and hopefully it's going to stop. With that Actually, let me pause while it stops. It's going to take it a few seconds here on this virtual machine to stop. 
Okay, so it did stop. Now I can go back here for my performance uh, co data collector set. Right click on it and I can look at the latest report. When we go down here, gives me information about what's gone on with the system duration. 37 seconds really didn't didn't go very long. Total CPU percent 15. So we, we can get our reports and we can go down here and uh, processes just like we did earlier and on page the mean max min so we can record these things and then go back and look at it later on so that we have uh, the ability to do reporting the way that we want to do reporting go back and do analysis so that we can look at where uh, the system is having issues where where our bottlenecks are while we're looking at this thing, I want to go over here and look at the performance counter itself, the properties of it. This is the this is the list of uh, counters that we have in this thing. The log format here is binary. If we go to the drop down, we can do comma separated CSV, and and if we save this file in comma separated value CSV format, we'd be able to then do the analysis with Excel, something that you may be a little bit more f familiar with. The sample interval here is is every one second. We may want to make the sample interval a little bit less than that. If we do a lot of sampling, it can actually uh, take away from the performance of the machine and uh, sometimes you, you may want to not sample it as frequently and we can do the sample in seconds, minutes, hours, days, weeks, however often we want to sample this thing. An example that I've used in the past for this was to monitor how many Citrix licenses we were using. We would set up a monitor, a performance monitor, and I think we would capture it every five minutes or whatever, every uh, every 24 hours, start it every day, and then at the end we could combine uh, the spreadsheets and uh, and look at where we maxed out. We could use this then to justify purchasing more uh, licenses when we needed the licenses. The other thing that we looked at in the, in this is if we go into the the user, let's go to the collector sets again. Let's go to user defined again, and we'll do a new data collector set real quickly. If we create it manually, we're going to go through the same process: create data logs, performance counter, event traces, whatever we want to do. Performance counter alert: the alert will send you an alert message. So let's just go in here and say we want performance counters. And when we go into this thing, we have mine. We'd have to go back and add the counters to it because if I go in and look at the properties of it, directory, security, schedule, stop conditions, and all those other things, I don't really have anything added to it. Let me look at the data collector here. The properties, the performance counters, add I need to go in now and add the performance counters that I want to use this is one the template predefined the ones that we do we put in the counters that we want with that I uh, would like to thank you for watching and I hope this has been useful thank you very much